These days, it's becoming easier and easier to create high quality cartoons with the help of AI. In this tutorial, we're going to show you a couple of options available to you so that you can start making your own cartoons using free AI tools that you can access in seconds. Starting off with a really cool tool called Artflow AI. There's a couple of options to choose from, starting off with an image generator, as well as a video studio generator. Now, what it's going to do is create images for you and add some animation styles to them. But the cool thing about what they now have is something called Story Studio. So as soon as we click on Story Studio, we'll head over to the right hand side over here where it asks us to create our own story. Now we can decide, do we want help with a story or do we already have a story? So it has AI built into the program. Now, what I really liked about this is it's going to ask me a couple of questions about the story I want to create. So firstly, who's my audience? And then what is the purpose of my story? What is it that I want my story to do? And then finally, the genre. And Overall, what do I want my story to be about? So for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm keeping it very, very simple, and I'm going to ask it to create a story about a boy riding a horse and to see what it creates. Now, across the board, each one of these platforms, we're going to be using a boy on a horse to show you in a standard way how all of them fare against each other. The cool thing about it, this one, is that Artflow now gives me a script. If I'm happy with it, I'll go to create story. I'm gonna choose a horizontal framework for this and then I have a bunch of art styles to choose from. I'm going to stick with the digital art style because I think that will render the best results. And the next thing it's going to do is create some characters for me. It's going to give me three characters and it's going to tell me a little bit about them which is pretty cool. And then after that I can decide if I'm happy with the images for each of these characters. So if I click there I can change it but if I'm happy to continue I'm going to go to carry on with the storyboard and there you go. All I need to do now is wait for what it's creating and scene my scene as it builds my story. I can then decide if I'd like to change the images or not. So it gives me a couple of options to choose from, which is pretty cool. And I can do the same thing for every single scene. I can even go in and change the narrator if I want to. Overall though, Let's have a listen to what it's created over here. In the magical kingdom of Zephyria, a mischievous boy named Oliver discovers a mysterious book in his attic. The meadow blooms before Oliver's wide-eyed gaze as he finds himself at the heart of a new and awe-inspiring world. Oliver encounters a majestic talking horse named Stardust who shares forgotten secrets hidden within the realm of Zephyria. With a misstep, Oliver loses his only way back home, the vanished book forcing him to confront his unexpected predicament. Determined to find a way back home, Oliver and Stardust embark on an adventurous journey, encountering whimsical creatures who join them along the way. Oliver and Stardust stumble upon a wise old owl who reveals that three riddles hold the key to their return to Zephyria. With their minds intertwined, Oliver and Stardust utilize their combined wit and teamwork, piecing together the enigmatic puzzle. As the final riddle clicks into place, the book materializes before Oliver, its return offering a glimmer of hope to the stranded duo. Oliver and Stardust are transported back to Zephyria, their bond stronger than ever, forged through the challenges they conquered together. With a bittersweet pang of longing, Oliver bids farewell to Stardust, knowing their stories will forever be intertwined, ready to be retold whenever he craves a new adventure. Oh my, that was actually really good. For something that took me practically zero time to create, I'm quite happy with the results that it's rendered. So that was Artflow AI, a great resource if you'd like to create cartoons from scratch and notice how it animates the images slightly. So you can go ahead and download it when you're happy with it. So that was Artflow AI. Next up, we've got an animation tool called Animate Drawing. 
So first thing it wants us to do is upload a drawing. So what I'm going to do is go, go over to Dolly and I'm going to ask it for a simple character that we can create, which is a Pixar style boy. I'm quite happy with I'm quite happy with the one on the left, so I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. Now, the key is you need to make sure that your masking is perfect because if it's not perfect, you're going to get some really strange characters coming across, right? After practicing a few times, I found out that you really have to make sure that your limbs are separated if you do, if there is anything that's nearby. As soon as you do that, you'll see a much better option where, as you can see in this final version, our character is pretty much walking across quite nicely. Okay, he's he's dancing, he's moving. That shoe needs a little bit of attention. And from here, you can decide to get your character to do all sorts of really cool things. So you can get them to dance, to box, to walk across the screen. So if you if you have a character and you'd like to put them in different positions, using a tool like this with Canva, maybe the backgrounds, could be really fun in order to uh, build up a decent story. So this was Animate Drawings, another tool you can use to bring your drawings and your images to life. Next up is Pika Labs. It is a really awesome tool, easy to use. What you are going to need though for a lot of these tools is a Discord account. So just remember that with many of these uh, video generators, they're going to give you access through Discord. All you need to do is Go into the site, accept the invite, and what it'll do is bring you over to your Discord page. Now, the cool thing about Pika Labs, and we have some other tutorials that go into greater depth with these, is that all you need to do is head over to the generate function. And in this generate function, now we have all these other functions that we can uh, perform in, in Pika Labs. When it comes to our creating our prompt, we're going to pick create. And we're going to, for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to keep it very, very simple. And we're going to use for all of these uh, video generators, we're gonna use a boy riding a horse through a field. We're not going to embellish it with anything more. We can, the more information that you give, the more detailed you are with your prompt, the better the output is going to be. What I want to do for the sake of this tutorial is really give something simple to see across the board, what are the results that pop up with each of these. So I go ahead and put that prompt in. Practically no time at all. This is the first result that we get from Pika Labs. Which is pretty good, right? So I'm going to try the same thing a couple of times to see what pops up. Now, now what I do like about Pika Labs is that it is a lot faster than a lot of the software out there. Uh, it, it handles your requests a lot quicker. So. If we put that in, let's see what it creates. Wow, look at that. And just with a, a little bit more detail saying cinematic 8K, it gives more detail. Now, a few things that you can change here, you can change the guidance scale, which is how accurate you want it to be to your prompt. You can change the aspect ratio. You can then decide how much motion you want in your uh, image as well. It goes from one to four, four being the greatest amount of motion. So let's put that in and let's see what that creates for us. Wow. Okay, so again, the more detail we put in, the better the output is going to be, but that was Pika Labs. Let's move over to probably the biggest name in video generation right now, which is Runway ML. Runway ML has a whole lot of functionality that you can choose from. What we're interested in is this text to video or text image to video. What you're going to do once you've registered an account, 
you get uh, about 120 seconds free use on a free account. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the text. And if you look at some of the functions that we can choose from here, we can, on our basic account, there's a few things that we can decide on. We can increase the intensity of the motion. We can change the uh, motion of the camera angle. We can zoom a few things. And it gives us an option to generate about four seconds worth of footage. So we're gonna put that in. And unfortunately, this is new. Due to heavy demand on a free plan, it's currently unavailable. Now, if you are facing this issue here, don't worry. Our third tool is going to solve this issue for you, which is Canva. Okay, so Canva has a direct integration with Runway ML. So all you need to do is go to Magic Media and go to the video generating function and put in what you would like to generate, which is a boy riding a horse. So there we go. That's directly from Runway. With a little bit of resizing, we can actually just go and uh, change the image to more of a, a landscape orientation. And as you can see here, not bad. The only concern I have is that the face is a little bit blurry and it seems to be that the boy is changing from a long sleeve to a short sleeve, but pretty good considering we did that in a matter of seconds. So that's tool number three where you can actually use Runway through the Canva integration. Next up, we have Genmo, okay? And again, you're going to use Discord to access Genmo. But the cool thing is you can actually use it directly on the platform. So we're going to apply our, our prompt over here, which is a boy riding a horse through a field. And let's see what it creates. It takes a while to render. But let's take a look at the final product over here. Sure, that is actually pretty good. And now for the next one, I'm going to try a couple of these functions over here to see, let's see what we can adjust uh, in this video. Okay, so there's a few things that we can adjust when it comes to our, our video over here. If we have a look, starting off with, if we go to the function, the adjustment function over here, we can change the aspect ratio we can choose a longer duration up to six seconds. We can decide how much motion we want in our video. We can also change the camera controls and we can zoom, roll, pan, we can tilt. And there's even a few effects that we can add in as well. Uh, so if we really wanted to make transitions and do a whole lot more, we can add that. I want something simple for this tutorial, so I'm going to keep it relatively clear and let's submit that and see what it will create. Actually, I love the way that the grass is moving there. That looks pretty cool. Okay, so let's try it one more time. We'll change the aspect ratio this time to be more of a landscape orientation. Let's try that out. And in no time at all, we've got our third option ready. So let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Again, face is a little bit blurry. Uh, so something to work on there, but overall pretty good. So that was Pika Labs. Next, we're going over to Moon Valley. Okay. What we're going to do is once again, use Moon Valley through Discord. And once we've set that up, it's going to bring us over to the Moon Valley server over here on Discord. And the cool thing about it is we have a whole lot of tutorials that we can watch, we can learn. We can see how exactly to use the Moon Valley software. And there's some cool tutorial videos to teach you how to do it. And once we're ready, we're going to head over to the creations function over here. So you can choose one of these uh, rooms in order to do that. And 
oh, we're going to put in the, the forward slash and head over to the create function. Now the cool thing about Moon Labs is that you have, when you put your prompt in, it gives you the option to fill in a template so you can choose the style that you want and the duration as well. To begin with, and the duration as well. The duration and even negative prompts, which allows you to tell you, which allows you to tell Moon Valley exactly what you don't want in the image. So let's put in a very short duration and let's see what our output is. Okay, okay, pretty good, pretty good. I'm very impressed with the horses across the board on all of these, uh, all of these pl platforms. They do it really, really well. So this time I'm going to make a few adjustments and this is where I ran into a bit of a challenge with Moon Valley. As soon as I put in a very long duration, I ended up waiting indefinitely for the next image to arrive and it just didn't end up arriving. Uh, so it is something that I'll, I'll caution you on, keep the duration short and then it's very, very quick to respond. The longer version, if you're looking for a very long video, maybe you'll have better luck than I did in testing out the software, but that was Moon Valley, definitely something to try. Next up, we are going to layer picks and layer picks will animate an image for you. Once I'm happy with a picture that I've got, then I'm going to go over to layer picks and just watch this. Okay. So I've, I've put it in, I've put in the image and in a matter of seconds, it's going to animate and bring this photo to life. Now, just with some basic editing in terms of the animation style, the animation length, changing the focus point. You can play around with it and see what it actually does. You can change the edge dilation and, and do a few, a few minor edits. But if you make these changes, look at what it does and how it brings that image into 3D reality. So it's really pretty, pretty cool. Not exactly a video generator, but the way that you can really bring a, an image to life is, is another reason why it's a very, very cool tool. So the next tool we're going to explore is Morph Studio. Okay, so once again, we're going to accept the invites on Discord. And after checking out a few of the tutorials, it'll show you exactly how to operate the program where you can change the aspect ratio, motion, camera, the default frames per second is 24, but you can also adjust that to make it more of a slow motion video. We're going to head over to one of the studio channels to create. The prompt is going to stay the same. I'm just going to polish it up with a few, the aspect ratio and the motion. Let's see what it comes up with over here. Okay, so I had to I had to wait a while for it. Okay, so I had to wait a while for it, but eventually it did pop up with something half decent. So let's have a look at this. Okay, not as detailed in terms of the face, but again, the horse was great and it wasn't really moving. It was kind of standing there, but you know what? Pretty good to begin with. So that was Morph Studio. Then finally, we have Lens Go. Okay, this is another text to video generator. And you can create images as well. Uh, very similar in look and feel to Runway. What we're going to do is go to the Animate Videos function. Now we have a choice. We can upload an image over here or we can just put in a prompt. So let's go ahead, add a prompt and see what it creates. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And if we do that again and we change maybe the aspect ratio, let's see what it creates this time. Wow, that was pretty good. Pretty, pretty interesting how the trees move. And let's do it one more time, see what that final rendition creates. 
Okay, so a little, a little bit more uh, abstract in nature. However, all in all, this technology is really coming along quite nicely. And if you keep things very simple and you prompt it very well, there's a couple of tools here that you can really use to create some very cool videos. And they have a bunch of tutorials on each of these platforms for you to explore. So those are 10 tools that you can use to create your own text to video animations in no time at all. We hope that you enjoyed this video. Remember all the links to all the software that you'll need will be in the description below. And as always, if you have enjoyed the video, remember to like and subscribe for more content just like this.